An inspection of the USS Bonhomme Richard is underway. A raging fire broke out on the ship on Sunday and it took four days to put out. News 8's Teresa Sardina reports from the naval base with details. The chief of the naval operations arrived here today from Washington, D.C. to take a look at the ship and inspect the damage. He tells News 8 he's never seen a fire like this on a ship, but he admires everyone on board. Not seen a fire of this magnitude in a Navy ship in recent memory, at least in my career. The investigation begins to what caused the fire on board of the USS Bonham Richard, looking at part of the vessel where cardboard and boxes are kept. Chief of Naval Operations Mike Gilday arrives at the naval base. Since Sunday, we've been working tirelessly to get this fire under control, and I'm glad to say that all known fires in the ship have been extinguished as of yesterday. The ship is stable. Gilday walks the flight deck for inspection after crews battled the blaze and smoke for almost five days. And the damage is extensive. Uh, there is obviously electrical damage to the ship. There is structural damage to the ship and mechanical damage to the ship that we need to assess in much more detail. According to base officials, on Sunday, the ship was undergoing maintenance work when the fire erupted, stating its built-in flame suppression system was inoperative. Chief Gilday discusses two main factors that caused extreme damage, wind and a series of explosions. The commanding officer made some very sound decisions in terms of how to attack the fire very deliberately. He says safety criminal due to make sure there's no malfeasance uh, at the at the at the root of the fire and command investigation take high priority in the overall investigation Gilday says those combating the fire measured heat slightly over 1000 degrees Gilday says the biggest takeaway from the inspection besides the damage is the people humble crew members and the high level of emergency based training and preparedness we appreciate the quick and immediate response of over 400 sailors from 16 San Diego Bay ships. Along with emergency agencies and experts. Chief Gilday says this is a three series investigation and we'll continue to update you as more developments come to our newsroom. Back to you. Thanks, Teresa. Smoke from that fire impacted the air quality for thousands of families in National City and surrounding areas, forcing hundreds of them from their homes. City officials encouraged residents to limit outdoor activities and close their windows. But with a heat wave and a lot of homes in the National City without AC, officials were able to provide 400 families hotel vouchers for a little relief. The vouchers were made possible through emergency funding approved by the Port of San Diego. National City's mayor said it was important they acted fast. National City um, has, uh, alongside um, Barrio Logan, some of the highest uh, respiratory illnesses, including asthma, uh, because we are surrounded by freeways. City officials are looking into buying air filtration systems for some homes with the remaining funding.